Okay, so I installed a bolt locking mechanism into the wall here behind this metal plate, which I'm going to spackle and paint over in a little while. You can see bolt comes out and in here. Allow me to demonstrate. Right now I'm using a simple app to do this. I don't know if you see that. Lock, unlock. And see the bolt extending and retracting. It is connected via Wi-Fi. There's a Raspberry Pi in the wall attached to an H grid attached to a car unlocking motor. So now I'll open up this here panel and we can look inside. Okay, now the panels are moved. You can see the mechanism inside the wall. I'll illuminate it so you can get a better look at it. This is a car unlocking device. This is a half inch steel rod, which I cut a slot in, drilled the hole through so it could attach here. And I also beveled the end a little bit on the angle grinder so it would have an easier time getting it to the door. In the back, right here, we have an H bridge that I etched here and a Raspberry Pi with a Nintendo Wi-Fi dongle. You can see they're mounted on a piece of cardboard which is then attached to the wall. The cardboard is from a Ziploc bag. It's non-conductive and semi-rigid so it works fairly well. Uh, there's two power supplies in there. One, you can see plugged into the Raspberry Pi and if you look down into the wall there's another power supply in there. Which power is, which supplies the 12 volts for the H bridge which drives this in and out. The power for these is coming from an outlet which is installed up here. It's glued to the back of the wall. The adapters are plugged into the outlet. Power from the outlet comes from power from the outlet comes from this switch. There are two wires that are bypass or in front of the switch, which are coming through a drilled hole up and this white wire is the neutral. The blue wire here is the hot wire. And they go up into the outlet that is on the upper part of the wall. As you see, the two outlet and the two two up in the wall. The bracket holding the car locking motor in place was just made from some bent steel sheet 12 gauge and screwed into the wall there. So the Raspberry Pi is running a simple Python script which listens on UDP for lock and unlock commands and then uses the RPI GPIO library for Python to turn on and off the A and B inputs to the H bridge which drives the motor in and out. The H bridge also has shoot through pre prevention Double on or double off. Nothing happens. One on or the other on. It goes one way or the other. It has 30 volt, 50 amp, 65 milliohm MOSFETs. I spackled over the plate to make the texture. Okay, so now it's all finished. You can see it's just spackled over and painted and quite get the texture right. But it looks pretty decent. Doors unlocked. So I made some small modifications to the app. It takes a password now and it hashes that password with a secret key. And then, to authenticate itself, it takes the secret key, hashes it with the current time in seconds since the Unix epoch. Okay, so I've entered the password. There's a settings window for you to change the lock address, lock port, and the lock key. So let me lock it. Okay, I don't know if you saw the door jostle a little bit when the locking cylinder entered it, but as you can see, the door did not open. And unlocking.